Hey guys, it's Phil Gordon from Dental Implant Practices, and today we're going to review the BioHorizons Tapered HD Implant System. BioHorizons was formed in 1994 by Carl Misch, Marta Baidez, Todd Strong, and then later this current CEO, Steve Bogan, joined in 1995. Uh, he became the CEO four years after joining. So that's a little bit about the company, and today I want to dive into the Tapered HD Implant itself. We're going to cover the two main implant lines, the Tapered Internal, which is the platform match system, and they're also gonna cover the Tapered Plus, which is the platform switch. The Tapered Plus also has two subsets, the Tapered Short, which has the short aggressive threads for the 3.5 and the 4.3 connections for shorter areas where you can avoid sinus lifts or the lower inferior alveolar nerve. And there's also the Tapered IM, which is the immediate molar. We're not gonna cover the Tapered Short or the Tapered IM, just know that those are available and they're part of the Tapered Plus line. All of these implants offer the laser lock surface treatment, which if chosen would be right here in this top region here at the crest of the implant. Those are little tiny laser locked series of uniform eight micron cell size channels that cells can adapt to either bone cells or tissue cells. This is a premium offering. Each of these has primary stability, bone compressive loading, internal hex connection, and a universal surgical kit. These implants come with an RBT body resorbable blasted texture body treatment, okay? So this treatment is gonna be under the laser lock throughout the rest of the implant body here. This is a highly complex surface texturing for a greater bone implant contact than a machined implant. That's HA or TPS surface coating. This is biocompatible resorbable blast media. These implants come anatomically tapered, so they're tapered implants, so that they compress the bone for higher primary stability. They have buttress threads on them down here which is the buttress thread design has larger, deeper threads and has lower surface face designed to provide compressive rather than sheer force. They're also made out of a titanium alloy for increased titanium strength. So the major components is the tapered implant design, the buttress threads, and then the increased titanium alloy strength. Those are the major components along with the laser lock system, which is up in this crustal part right here. All of their implants come with an internal hex connection, which creates a biological seal. This is a common universal connection, and they come with a spiral lock abutment thread form, which eliminates screw loosening between the screw and the abutment. This is another kind of patented, um, unique feature about this implant, which makes it nice. Most of the implants come with a color coding anodization process for easy identification of prosthetic platforms and components. You can see this is a, um, this is a sample implant. This is a yellow anodization right here. The implants that you get for the packaging for uh, surgical use are all titanium color, but then internally in the inside of the implant, the connection, if it's a 3.0, it would be silver. If it's a 3.5 connection, it would be gold. If it's a 4.5, it would be green. And if it's a 5.7, it would be blue. There's a wide range of prosthetics, everything from stock abutments to temporary abutments to uh, multi-unit abutments and locator adaptions. There's custom abutments. There are zirconia abutments. So everything and anything can be adapted to these implants, which makes it a great implant for all uses uh, around the mouth and all, all types of implant dentistry. The tapered internal has a uh, 3.0 connection, a 3.4 uh, diameter, a 3.8 diameter, a 4.6 diameter, and a 5.8 diameter. So there's anywhere from a 3.0 to a 5.8 diameter. And with these diameters, it also offers in length from a 7.5 millimeter all the way up to 18 millimeters long. The width of the implant can determine the length. So obviously all sizes of length aren't available for all widths, but there's, there's quite an array of implant sizes. So it can be used anywhere from the narrow lateral positions to molars, premolars, and then even the immediate molars with this implant make it a great offering for the mouth. The Tapered Plus has a 3.8 diameter a 4.2 diameter, which is brand new, a 4.6 diameter, and a 5.8 diameter. The Tapered Plus have the platform shift connection, and those are offered in the same 7.5, 9.0, 10.5, 12.0, and 15 millimeter lengths uh, for the 3.8 diameter, 4.2 diameter, 4.6 diameter, and the 5.8 diameter Tapered Plus implants. The Tapered HD system all has the same surgical kit, and so that's a convenience factor. Uh, there is also a guided kit and a prosthetic kit as well. We're going to explore all those kits here in just a moment. Okay, now we're going to run through the tapered HD surgical kit. It comes in this autoclavable case, which is nice, and the lid opens and then can be removed for ease of use. They share the same surgical kit, and in this kit there is a 2.0 starter drill, the 2.5 starter drill, and then we move into the drilling sequence for the larger um, drills. So we have a 2.8 
and then it goes to a 3.2, a 3.7 millimeter drill, a 4.1 millimeter drill, a 4.7 millimeter drill, and a 5.4 millimeter drill. Now you can see these drills, uh, the first two are for creating and enlarging your osteotomy, and then um, they're out there for expanding the osteotomy to different sizes for implant placement um, and depth. There are color coatings on these for stopping at various drill lengths and widths for different sizes of implants placed. Now with this drill system, there are laser etched lines for depth. The first line here is a 7.5 millimeter marking on the laser etched line. Moving up to the bottom of the black here is a nine millimeter marking. And then to the top of that black is a 10.5 millimeter marking. The bottom of the next black is a 12.0 millimeter marking. And the top of that next black is a 15 millimeter marking. And all the way up here, this line is the 18 millimeter marking. So uh, there is no depth control with these drills. You have to watch for the laser etched drill length when choosing that. So that's how you control your depth while drilling. And then the width, these, the different size of the implants go up. If you're replacing a yellow implant, depending on the size, if it was a uh, three eight millimeter implant, you might stop here. Uh, with the 3.2, and if you're going up to the 4.6 millimeter implant, you might jump up to the 3.7 if it's in the maxillary arch, or the 4.1 uh, for the 4.6 millimeter implant to uh, in the mandible if the bone is denser. So there is some um, ability to control your osteotomy size if you're in the maxilla or the mandible, depending on do you want to undersize your osteotomies or drill them almost to depth. So the, um, the color ind indications are for different connections. Uh, for the implants. So the surgical and the prosthetic connections match up with that. Let's say I have the implant that we had on display here, and this implant is a 3 8 by 12. So to drill for this 3 8 by 12, I would pick the 2 0 millimeter and I would drill that to the 12 millimeter line, and then you'd move up to the 2 5, and then you'd move up to the 3 2 millimeter implant drill, and I would probably stop there because the yellow matches here with the yellow and I want to undersize my osteotomy slightly. I would take this 3.2 millimeter drill and drill down to the appropriate length. So the 12 millimeter length on this would be the bottom of this black line. So this would be my final drill, the 3.2 drill. I would drill to length at the bottom of this black line and that would be 12 millimeters. And then I would insert the implant based upon that. Now I've got the implant here already picked up in the latch driver, right? So if I was going to pick this up, I could put this latch driver in your implant handpiece, pick up the implant from the package and insert it through the latch driver. However, they also make a hand driver that you can do with your ratchet. So you can start that with a hand driver and then insert that into the osteotomy and then you could finish that off with the ratchet. You could crank that in finishing the ratchet. So you've got the, the availability to deliver with the surgical handpiece and or the ratchet handpiece and to crank that down to the final proper position. So the yellow, the yellow and the green connections share the same driver and then the blue implants, the five seven implants have a separate driver for that. In addition to the pilot drills and the osteotomy drills, there's also bone crest removal drills. So you can, you can remove the crestal part of bone to get a flush seat with your implant, and that just removes bone right at the crestal part so you can get a flush implant placement. And there's also drill taps, okay? If you wanna spiral in your drill tap and then thread it back out and dense mandibular bone, sometimes that's a good option. With this kit, there's also straight paralleling pins so that you can check the angle and depth of your implants as you're placing them with x-rays. There's also angled pins for that as well. Within the surgical kit, there's a drill extender and a ratchet ex extender, a hand wrench and a .05 driver. This is to place your um, cover screw and then the same driver for your prosthetic components. In addition to that, the implant comes with the surgical ratchet. So this is your basic setup for the tapered HD surgical kit and there's all these spare channels in case you want extra drills or extra things that you want to put in there. But this is the same surgical kit for all the implants. Okay, now we're going to review the tapered HD 
guided surgery kit. It comes in basically the same type of autoclavable box with a removable lid for convenience. Now the difference between this drill system is it's, it's guided. Uh, by that I mean you can place it through a surgery guide and you can place your implants and your drills through that surgery guide. Um, it's not a, a completely guided but a um, key system. So the, the, the guides are to move you through different implant drills using a key system. Um, so let's review what that is. They still come with the basic 2.0, the 2.5 um, initial osteotomy drills, and then we move into the same size of 2.8, 3.2, 3.7, 4.1, 4.7, and 5.4 drills. However, with the guided kit, you're going to be putting in a key into your implant guide sleeve, and then you're going to be doing your initial drilling through the key system. Okay? So you have an, a surgical guide with an implant sleeve, you place the key in there, and then you drill to the appropriate length through the key system. So you still have to watch your depth markers, your length lines are still the same, you still have to watch that. Okay, so you have the 2.0 here, and if you're placing the yellow sized implant, then you would move up to the next key system. You would pick this up and put it in the implant sleeve, the guide sleeve, then you would take your next drill, and you would take your next drill to the appropriate length. If it was 12, you'd go to the 12 marker, then you would put the 2.5 drill down, the 2.5 key down, then you might pick up the, the 2.8 size key and the 2.8 drill. You would drill that appropriate length to 12 and back out. You put down the keys and then you'd pick up the final 3.2 guide key and the 3.2 drill and then you would drill that to 12 millimeters. So you can see it takes two hands to do. It takes one for the key and one for the drill. I think Bob Horizons has plans to come out with a, with a, a keyless guided system but at this point this is their guided system and then when you're ready to pick up the implant here what you do is you have a tapered implant driver up here. And the implant driver picks up the implant just like a normal implant driver would. Except then it screws in. So you screw that in the implant and then you carry it into the mouth. You can use a square converter and drive it in with the implant motor. Um, and then after that, you can ratchet it into place. So use a surgical ratchet to then ratchet it in place. Once the implant is through the guide and in place, then you take the ratchet off. Then you unscrew the implant driver through the surgical guide. And the implant is in the bone. So you can see how there's a screwed in implant driver, which is a different connection, uh, which is a different system than just your regular pickup and the freehand kit. Okay? That's a pretty common thing with uh, key systems or guided surgery in general. So for the guided surgery kit, there are the three colors of the keys. One for the yellow, one for the green, and one for the blue. And so when you determine the implant planning and your surgical guide making, there's a different type of guide sleeve in the top of the surgical guide. It will be yellow, green, or blue. And then you stay within that key system and you still have to watch your depth control. Then you have your tapered drill driver. In addition to that, there are tissue punches for each size. So if there's a yellow, a green, or a blue tissue punch that you drill through um, the guide, although I like to reflect the flap, so I'm not a huge fan of the tissue drivers, they also come with fixation pins. A lot of times people like to secure their uh, implant surgical guide with fixation pins. So they have fixation pins already in this kit. There's a ratchet to deliver the implants through. They also have a depth stop handle, so if you want to do some depth control with this, you can help um, with your driver system and or um, picking up the, the various components with that. So this is their universal guided surgery kit. Um, like I said, I do think they have in the works for a, uh, a key list system, a non-key system coming in the future. But at the moment, this is their guided kit and it works quite well. Now we're going to go through the tapered HD prosthetic kit from BioHorizons. It also comes in this autoclavable box with a removable lid. The boxes are all the same size. This is the fully loaded kit. I think they come a little more basic, but then you can outfit it uh, with uh, as little or as much as you need. But in this kit, um, we have the .050 drivers. We have the, the finger driver here, and then we have a short and a long. 
So depending which parts of the mouth you're in or what you're moving through, there's a short and long driver. Here we have the handpiece drivers with the short and the long with the latch style handpiece. Same drivers for all these. And then we also have the ratchet drivers, short and long. So there's a, there's a full multitude of drivers here, depending what you're going to do. Here is the hand ratchet driver that you can pick up, plug this on, and deliver prosthetics that way. You also have the ratchet extender in case you need to extend these. Okay, there's also a multi-unit driver, and that goes in the ratchet here. Um, so that's for your multi-unit abutments. We also have one for the handpiece. There's a multi-unit handpiece driver. In this kit, we have try-in abutments uh, optional here. We have various abutments that show angulation of all different sizes here. In this kit, I also have the scan body abutments. So we have the silver and the yellow and the green and the blue scan body abutments. In addition to this kit, we also have different types of torque wrenches, okay? We have the ratchet style torque wrench that you can put in here. This one is adjustable, so you can dial in your torque settings when seating your prosthetics. It goes from 15 to 20 to 25 to 30 to 35 to 40, 45, 50, and 60. Um, you can determine your ratchet torque with that. We also have a leaf gauge driver. So some people think this might be the most accurate type of torque driver, the leaf gauge driver. And then we have a spring driver, which you can dial in or out. You see your different torque settings here that you can dial in your Newton centimeters on the spring, and then you can torque and it locks out that way. So it's a pretty basic prosthetic kit, but it has everything you need from all your different drivers in this channel here. We have your finger drivers, short and long. We have the handpiece drivers, short and long. And then we have the ratchet drivers, short and long. We have your accessories picking up here. We have multi-unit drivers. And then there's optional try and abutments for angulations, scan body impression abutments. And then there's also the three different types of torque wrenches here. So the um, whatever your different type of torque wrench or different type of attachments you might need, this kit can allow uh, full prosthetic flexibility. Okay, now we're going to run through the packaging for the BioHorizons tapered HD implant line. They come in this little box like this. It says BioHorizons on it, and on here it will say the reference number, the tapered HD implant, mountless, RBT, blasted, the size, and then give you all the information for the implant. You just open the lid. It's got all the markings on it. You can see I've already opened this one, but they come in this little blister pack and you peel the lid back from the blister pack and there's your implant. So you remove the implant vial from the blister pack. These also have all of your uh, markings on it for the chart and then you can dispose of that. Within there they also have all of your surgical instructions for use, important medical information there. Then you open the implant vial. Now it's always important to keep the implant vial with these because the cover screw is in the lid. So don't let your assistants or anyone else throw away the cover. And then the implant is resting in the vial. So you pick up the implant with the implant driver, remove it from the vial, and then you can insert the implant into the mouth. Obviously I have it here with the ratchet pickup, but you can do it with the handpiece as well. And then the implant can be placed in the patient's mouth. After the implant's placed, then you unscrew the cover screw from the lid that you're making sure not to throw away. And then you can place that on the implant. Yeah. Now we're gonna look at how the uh, healing abutments are packaged. You can see we still have the yellow that lines up with the prosthetics. We have instructions for use and we have this little peel open pack. I overpacked these abutments quite a bit, but at least they're sterile. This would be done with gloves on, of course. Then you take out the impression abut or the healing abutment with the same driver, and then that can be placed on the implant. You can see the yellow lines up with the yellow for prosthetic matching. You can see now we have the healing abutment on the implant. Okay. 
This concludes our review of the Bot Horizons tapered HD implant line. For more information on this, you can go to uh, BioHorizons Implant Company, BioHorizons.com. For more information on dental implants and how to integrate them into your practice, you can go to MyImplantPractices.com, www.DentalImplantPractices.com. There we have lots of offerings from the Facebook group to the podcast uh, to special courses that I'm putting on and other events. So go check me out up there and continue to watch the YouTube channel as we introduce more implant lines and product reviews. Thanks for watching.